Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, today's topic is going to be on anger. I am so excited to be discussing this topic with you because I don't know anybody that this is not going to apply to. We've all felt frustrated, angry, um, where we, we can all be on kind of a different level of how we handle our anger, but we all feel irritated and angry sometimes. So I'm very excited to be sharing this topic with you. Um, we are in your workbook on video 16. Um, anybody who doesn't have their workbook yet, go to the Facebook page, Personal Growth with Melinda Mater Lucas, and I have put all of the workbooks um, that are already up 50% off. We are almost through all of them. Um, we are getting ready to finish up workbook number two just here in a couple weeks. And then we are going to be diving into a bunch of confidence work. I'm actually going to kind of shift this entire um, program to mindset and motivation, a lot of confidence building um, specifically in just in general within ourselves, our confidence then trickles down to our friendships, our relationships, um, our work, um, so many things. So we are going to be finishing up workbook number two, and then we're really going to be shifting into some courses and getting in heavy on topics about confidence and how that affects all areas of our life. So let's just dive into today's topic on anger. Um, and I'm really going to challenge you guys on this to think a different way about um, anger. So I'm just going to start off with some examples. Um, I think that's the best way to explain this. So someone at your work or someone at school, your um, at work, you're, you're working as a collaboration, let's say, and someone in your group does not participate fully. You feel like you or a couple of you are doing most of the work, and um, this other person is just kind of along for the ride. Um, kids in school, like if you're doing a group project, you might feel like um, this person is just kind of along for the ride and going to get the grade or get um, the outcome that you are but isn't putting in the work. So this is something that could make us feel angry. Um, and if we dive into this with the person um, with a mindset of anger, we are, first of all, we're not centered. Second of all, um, the conversation is more than likely not going to go as well because that's when people get defensive. When we come at them with anger, they become defensive. So here is the key to this. Anger is a secondary emotion. That's what I call it. It's a secondary emotion. However, most of us, all of us jump to anger first and we completely ignore, we completely um, jump over our primary emotion. Um, society, the way we live, the way we are raised is so much more comfortable with showing anger than other feelings that we all just start to become accustomed to this and we don't even know there's another way to do it. So what I mean by that, primary emotions in this situation might be, um, I feel disrespected. Disrespect. I feel like I'm doing more work than they are and that feel I'm being disrespected. That is a primary emotion. Um, I might feel stressed. I might feel like this is a lot more work on me and that stresses me out. Um, those are primary emotions. Those are actually what you're thinking first. They, um, they might come up so quickly that you don't even pay attention to them. You skip over them and you go directly to anger. You're making me mad because you're not doing your part. When really you're feeling stressed out because you've got more work than you can handle or disrespected maybe. Um, because it should be an equal partnership. So if we stop and think, okay, what came before the anger and make ourselves back up and think about that and then tackle the situation from those feelings. So I'm feeling disrespected um, because I'm doing X, Y, and Z on this project and um, you haven't gotten your part done. Handling things from our primary emotion not only keeps us calmer, but we have a much better chance of people not feeling so defensive. Now we can't um, obviously 
be able to control how others are going to react, but we are going to feel so much better about how we do it um, if we go to our primary emotion. So let's just do another example real quick. So let's say your kid has made a really bad choice. They've gotten in trouble or they're not doing well in school, something like that. Um, our primary emotion might be what we jump to our secondary emotion is anger and we're we're mad at them we're yelling at our kids and i've totally done this before um and we just go straight to anger so if we slow it down we back up what is our primary emotion around our kid getting in trouble or them not doing well in school or their grades are not well um maybe it's hurt maybe we're hurt because our kids made a really bad choice and are in trouble now and that's hurtful i mean other people's choices affect us. So um, if if I make a bad choice, that's going to impact my entire family. And that's, that's with anybody. Our choices impact everyone around us that cares. So maybe we're hurt. Um, or if our kid has made a really bad choice, maybe instead of anger, we're, the primary emotion is actually we're feeling some guilt or is this my fault? Like maybe I should have been doing something differently or I should have talked to them about this differently. So those are just two other emotions that we might be um, feeling that are primary emotions and we just skip over the, um, so many of us do that. We aren't taught um, in school or, you know, as we're growing up to stop and think, okay, what am I really feeling? And, um, that anger is just so, it's, it's so, so many people think, oh, anger is more socially acceptable than saying I'm hurt. So, um, <clears throat> I think it's also interesting to look at, okay. Um, you say, well, I have people say, I, I have like these massive anger problems and how I said, like everybody's kind of on a different scale of where they're at with their anger. And, um, I have people who come in that say, you know, I get angry. And then I have people who come in and say, hey, I have like anger problems. So, um, meaning like they throw things, they have assaults, they, um, their anger is just way on the other end of the, the scale. And when you get into it and you dive into it, you, you almost always find that these people growing up were not shown other emotions besides anger. They were not taught um, to slow down, look at um, what am I really feeling right now, and this is how we handle hurt, or this is how we handle being stressed. Um, it, they're just um, always, they're always just kind of in this realm of I handle everything with anger and that just builds and builds and builds on itself. So um, I think that's very interesting to watch. So the challenge with this is to stop yourself and ask, what is my primary emotion? And maybe it's after, like maybe you've already got angry and you've done whatever you didn't want to do. Okay. This is a process. It's not going to be like, oh, I listened to this video and now I can just do it. So um, even if you I've gotten angry. It's still progress for you to stop yourself, go back, rethink about the situation and decide, okay, what was I actually feeling? Um, and then sit with that, make yourself feel it and decide how you would handle that feeling rather. Um, that is a great way to just get the process started. Um, because if we, if we continue to do things the way we're doing them, nothing's going to change. Like literally if nothing changes, nothing changes. So, um, challenge yourself on that and try it a different way. So that is the topic today on anger. We will be back next Tuesday with a, another video. I'm going to put a link right up here. If you haven't already to um, subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that so you don't ever miss a new video. Um, if you don't have your free worksheet yet on setting goals, you can go to the Facebook page, Personal Growth with Melinda Modern Lucas, and scroll down just a couple um, and couple of posts. There is a link there. Put in your um, email, and I will email out that free worksheet for you. Okay, that is the topic today, guys, and we'll see you next Tuesday.